What is one way that knowledge can be integrated into the case management process? A. Cases can be automatically converted to knowledge articles. B. Knowledge search can be pre-filtered based on a case category. C. Knowledge can be predictively searched based on trending live topics. D. Speech analytics can be used to search based on live conversation. The correct answer is B. Knowledge can be pre-filtered based on a case category. By using the knowledge sidebar component and mapping knowledge data categories to category values on the case, you can pre-filter your knowledge searches when you select from a pick list on the case detail screen. Let's look at the incorrect choices. A, cases can be automatically converted into knowledge articles. You can give agents permission to create knowledge articles, but currently there's no setting that would enable automatic creation of articles from cases. It still requires humans to do that work. C, knowledge can be predictively searched based on live trending topics. Something like this might be coming soon, but it's not here yet. Currently, you can search the knowledge base based on a search term that you enter, but today, there's no way to alter knowledge search results based on trending topics. D, using speech analytics to search based on live conversation sounds like a compelling feature, but it's not something offered by Service Cloud just yet. It can search knowledge automatically based on a subject line that you type into a case, but there's no voice recognition for now. What system is used in a contact center to help manage adherence to average call handle time and planned work schedule? A. Customer Relationship Management System B. Quality Management System C. Workforce Management System or D. Automated Call Distribution System The correct answer is C. Workforce Management System. The Workforce Management System is the system used in a contact center to manage the agent's work schedules and to monitor how well the agents are adhering to those work schedules. The WFM system may also be used for forecasting future work volumes. You may also see WFM referred to as WFO or Workforce Optimization. Now, let's look at the incorrect answer choices. Customer Relationship Management System is the role Salesforce plays in the contact center. So hopefully you were able to rule that one out. B, Quality Management System is the system used to record the agent interactions with customers, often including capturing video of the workstation screens. And it usually includes the ability to review particular customer interactions while filling out a checklist or a survey form grading how well the agent did. The automated call distribution system refers to the system traditionally used to route phone calls to the agents. It also would usually contain rules around phone cues, on hold music, or messages, and it's often also responsible for managing the agent's current availability state. What is not a feature of the Salesforce console for service? A, view multiple records on separate tabs at the same time. B, access the console via partner community. C, use an interaction log, which can capture case activities. D, access to computer telephony integration controls.
The correct answer for this one is B, access to console via partner community. For this one, let's go through each answer choice and mark feature or not feature. View multiple records on a separate tab of the same screen. Ability for multiple tabs is a key selling point of the console and a main reason people use it. Let's say I'm an agent in a contact center. I have a case open and I'm working on my case notes. Then I get a screen pop with new customer call. If I'm using the console for service, then that new screen pop opens in a new tab, leaving my current case notes still waiting there for me on another tab when I'm ready to go back to them. So A is definitely a feature. B, access to the console via partner community. The console is designed for high volume users like those working in contact centers. So probably not great for portal or community users. Let's see what Salesforce has to say on the subject. Here's a help page on Salesforce console implementation tips. And it says that you can't add the console to customer or partner portals. So answer choice B is not a feature of the Service Cloud console. C, use an interaction log which can capture case activities. Let's look at the Salesforce documentation again to answer this one. Here's a help file walking through the steps to set up an interaction log for a Salesforce console. So it seems a good bet. That's a feature of the console. D, access to computer telephony integration. Since the console is designed for contact centers, it makes sense that it would be a feature. And a quick browse through the help again confirms that CTI soft phone access is part of the console. So that's three features and one not a feature. And that's why B is the right answer. Montoya Incorporated wants to reduce the total number of agent-assisted customer inquiries they handle. Which interaction method would provide the greatest reduction in total customer inquiries? A. Live chat B. Web to case C. Web self-service or D. Email to case The correct answer for this one is C, web self-service. The key word in this question is agent assisted. If they want to reduce their number of agent assisted inquiries, then the best way to do that is by removing the need for the agent. Web self-service implies that a customer is finding their own answers through a web portal or community without the need for agent intervention. Now, why are the other answers incorrect? Live chat requires an agent to be communicating real time with the customer, so that still requires agent intervention. B, web to case, requires that a case be created and that has to be routed to a person to be handled, so there's still agent intervention there too. And D, email to case, is the same as web to case. The email has to be sent in and someone needs to respond to it, so there's still agent intervention required there too. In what project phase would you validate that the order details in the RMA system match the data captured by agents in Service Cloud? A. System integration test phase B. Performance test phase C. User acceptance test phase or D. Build and unit test phase
The correct answer is A, system integration test phase. System integration testing is the phase where you typically would test that data is flowing correctly from Salesforce to other systems and from other systems back into Salesforce. B, performance testing, is when you typically would test that the system transactions are taking the expected amount of time. So the focus during performance testing would be on how long it takes for data to be reflected in different systems. C, user acceptance testing, may involve some data validation, but the focus of user acceptance testing is usually more toward look and feel of the system and that the process works for doing their job. D, build and unit tests, would likely involve some checks of data passing between two systems, but unit testing usually focuses on testing functionality within a particular system. The more rigorous data flow testing is usually saved for system integration test. Every project is different, and you may have seen implementations that worked a different way. So you can expect these implementation strategy questions to reflect what is most typical or industry standard. So try not to get into exceptions you might see on one project and just focus on how you would logically expect things to work on the average implementation for the average client. What is a feature of Salesforce knowledge? A. Support for article body text to be automatically translated. B. Ability for users to rate articles on a scale from 1 to 5 stars. C. Support for automatic approval processes during article authoring. D. Attaching of articles to case emails as a Microsoft Word doc. E. Ability to archive articles when they are no longer needed. Choose three. The correct answers are B, C, and E. Answer B, rating articles based on a scale of 1 to 5 stars, is an out-of-box feature of Salesforce knowledge. Knowledge managers can run reports based on these ratings to help identify articles in need of improvement. Answer C, support for approval processes for article authoring, is a feature of knowledge. You can set up an approval process for knowledge, similar to the way you would for other objects in Salesforce. And this is a great way to give agents a chance to author their own knowledge articles and still allow for a technical writer to provide some review of those articles before they get published. Answer E, archiving of articles when they're no longer needed, is a feature of Salesforce knowledge. A knowledge manager can go into articles manually and archive them when they're no longer needed. You can also set up an archive date in the future when you want an article to automatically be archived when it's no longer needed. Archived articles can still be searched by your knowledge managers and used to create new articles to be republished. The two incorrect answers were A and D. A, automatic translation is not supported by Salesforce knowledge. However, it does have the ability to enable to have a translated version of articles into different languages, but you still need humans to do the translating part. D, attaching articles as Microsoft Word docs is not supported. However, you can attach articles to case emails as PDF documents. In what external system would you be most likely to find repair and returns master data? A. Enterprise resource planning. B. Commission management. C. Computer telephony integration. Or D. Workforce management.
The correct answer is A, ERP system. Repair and returns are common processes you'll find handled in contact centers. And if I've got a problem with my laptop, I'm going to call Apple to have it repaired. And because repair and return operations are closely tied in with supply chain logistics and manufacturing, integration to an ERP system to access that data is pretty common. Of course, every company is different. And that's why the question here is worded with the words, most likely. Let's look at these other systems and how they're typically integrated with Salesforce, because you might see them come up on another exam question. Commissions management systems are usually tied in to the sales part of Salesforce, used by sales users, people who get paid based on how much they sell. You might run into this in a contact center, if it's a sales center, or if the service agents receive some type of commission on cross-selling products or on selling their own services. A CTI system is integrated to Salesforce to enable call control via a soft phone, and it would usually store data related to the call volume, the related customer accounts, the length of each call, the toll-free number they called. It might also contain email or chat data as well if they're using multi-channel routing. A WFM system usually stores data about agents' scheduling and adherence. So typically you'd find data like their work schedule, their vacation requests, and their various skill levels. Miracle Max has a goal to decrease total agent-assisted interactions by 20% this year. What report could you create to help impact this metric? A, percentage of cases with an attached knowledge article. B, percentage of cases originated via chat versus via phone. C, count of cases with two or more agent interactions or D, percentage of public articles with a rating below three stars. The correct answers are C and D. Since the question states that Max wants to decrease agent-assisted interactions, we need to look for answer choices that would specifically measure either agent-assisted inquiry volume, or the effectiveness of self-service. C, count of cases with two or more agent interactions, is a good choice because that report could help Miracle Max improve his first call resolution. By investigating why those cases required more than one agent interaction, and acting on that information to improve his first call resolution, he can hopefully reduce his total agent interactions. D, percentage of public articles with rating below three stars, provides an indication of the public knowledge base quality. One of the most effective ways to reduce unnecessary agent interactions is to have an effective self-service knowledge base. Articles getting rated one or two stars are not solving customer issues. So improving the average star rating over time should correlate to a decrease in agent-assisted interactions. The other two answers are incorrect because they do not show actionable data that could directly drive agent interaction metrics. Percentage of cases with an attached knowledge article indicates adoption of the knowledge base and how often agents are finding relevant knowledge, but a change in that percentage doesn't necessarily indicate anything good or bad about the total volume of agent-assisted interactions. Percentage of cases originated via chat versus phone would be useful if Max was trying to drive customers toward one or the other. Chat is usually a lower cost way to support customers, but it's still agent assisted. And since we're going after reduction in agent assisted interactions, we should be more interested in how often customers are serving themselves via web instead of worrying about phone versus chat.
Your client wants to integrate its contact center data from other systems with service cloud data for reporting purposes. These systems include telephony, IVR, WFM, and quality assurance. What integration approach would you recommend? A. Create a nightly batch integration to load external data into Salesforce objects. B. Create a reporting integration using Salesforce Wave to view the external data. C. Use OpenCTI to integrate the Service Cloud Console with the external data. D. Create a nightly batch to export Salesforce data into a data warehouse containing all the data. The correct answers are B and D. As a consultant, you could recommend either of these correct answers or both of them, depending on the specifics of their needs and their budget. B, using Salesforce Wave would enable you to visualize the data from other systems without having to bring it into Salesforce. And D would allow you to merge the data from Salesforce with the data from the other systems into a data warehouse. But both B and D avoid the major design no-no of importing a bunch of data into Salesforce just to be used for generating reports. Salesforce is intended to be a transactional system, a system which contains the data it needs to perform your main service process. It's not ideal as a solution to store a bunch of data just to be used for reporting. There are limits on the amount of data storage within Salesforce, and it can be expensive to increase those limits. Also, there could be some performance issues introduced if you load millions and millions of records into Salesforce. Telephony systems in particular generate a ton of data records. So it's better to either mash up the data from different sources using something like Salesforce Wave, or export the data along with the data from those other systems into a data warehouse. So that means option A would not be the best answer here since it would require bringing all that data into Salesforce. And answer C, OpenCTI, would not work since OpenCTI is designed for real-time integration of soft phone controls and screen pops. It's not used for this type of data integration. Hi, thanks for checking out Service Cloud Rapid Exam Prep. If you like what you see, then go ahead and enroll and we can get to work earning your Service Cloud Consultant certification. See you soon.